Team 10 coverage continues now with more on what some will see as a cheap shot from the $3 bar boss. Yeah, NBC 10's Brian Crandall is live in Providence with more on that. Brian. And Patrice and Jean, the owner of the now quiet $3 bar, certainly let his feelings be known after that hearing, claiming that kind of violence that happened outside the bar could happen anywhere. He blasted the mayor and also called some of his neighbors up here on Federal Hill racist. This is not a hearing. This is a witch hunt. Gene Franco Morocco, the owner of the $3 bar and eight other Federal Hill businesses, rails against the hearing process. The mayor is their boss. He came out publicly on Channel 10, one of you, that he wants me shut down. So what are they going to do, you think? D did you think today we got a fair hearing? Did you I was guilty before I came here. Oh. John, does your bar attract bad people? What do you mean by bad people? Define a bad person. If you think that low prices, $3 prices, attract bad people, then Walmart, BJ's, every discount store in the country must be a breeding ground for vicious, violent criminals. Morocco with strong words for his neighboring business owners who want him shut down, claiming they're stuck in the 1950s. They don't want the types of people that I bring. I bring Latinos to Federal Hill. I, I do a, a Latin night. I do a, 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 a hip-hop night, a black night. I do a Lebanese night. I do an Asian night. Uh, that's, yes, yes, yes. I'm calling them all racist. Because if not, they wouldn't be making this much noise. And for Mayor Angel Tavares, who wants the bar shut down for good? And he wants to run the state. He should run back the Dominican Republic. And the mayor responds partly tongue-in-cheek that he was born here. His office says that this effort is all about public safety, not what Morocco claims it is. Live in Providence, Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News.